Hi, and good evening, my boys and girls, and my friends of my channel. Welcome back to your boy, the local Scottish Trekkie, coming live at you for a Star Trek Discovery special review. And this evening, I'm going to be doing this one. So it is the Klingon Sarcophagus ship uh, from Star Trek Discovery, Season 1. It's the Kuvma Starship. So, we'll get into the magazine itself, which is here for the ship. So, the sarcoph sarcophagus ship, special issue. And once I've done the issue, the, the, the magazine, we'll get into the ship itself. More on that in a little bit. So, let's get some through some reading. And then I'll bring you the ship after the, after the end of the video, at the end. So, we have the Star Trek Discovery, the official Starships collection, profile of the sarcophagus ship, and designing the ship. So we have Takuvma's, a little bit of ooze uh, from the polystyrene box. So we have Takuvma's sarcophagus starship. So it was operated by the house Takuvma. It was Alphoration, as the Klingon Empire. It was launched the 23rd century and its length is 2550.59 meters. So that's 2550-59 meters. And we have the, the look at the front page here and what I'll do is when I get to the end of the, the showing the starship I will show you guys how to mount it onto its, star sh on, onto its space uh, or in its stand. And you have the three little images down below of the ship. So let's get into some pro uh, background of the Kuvma starship. So the sarcophagus ship enti entitled the Klingon United. The, the sarcophagus ship united the Klingon fleet in the battle at the Binary Stars in 2256. Uh, leading the Baruto attack against the Federation fleet, resulting in the loss um, of thousands of lives at the start and at the, the start of the new Klingon Federation war. So the, uh, the scarred sarcophagus ship was a, uh, har a harbinger of war that united the Klingon Empire against the Federation. Uh, thought to be centuries old, the Klingon sarcophagus ship, or the ship of the dead, was the Klingon. It was the flagship of the f once mighty house of the Kuvma. In twenty third century, it left as nothing more than a derelict wreck following the house of fall, the house's fall of from honor. But in twenty two fifty six, the restored sarcophagus ship played a key role in the battle at the Binary Stars, make it a uh, marking the beginning of a war between the Klingon Empire and the Federation. The sarcophagus ship was named for the way it honoured the Klingon dead. Its hull was armoured with sacred cast uh, caskets containing the remains of fallen warriors. Um, these caskets were placed on the hull to form the an armour surface. Uh, the dead forming an extra layer of protection from attack. Abandoned for years following the death of his father, the young Takuvma rediscovered the derelict ship, encountering other Klingon children, encountering other Klingon children, playing among its abandoned decks following the brutal beating at their hands. Takuvma vowed, vowed that he would restore the vessel and return honour to its house. In the intervening years, the Kuma developed, uh, developed technology that allowed him to render a ship invisible and cloaked from sensors. So then we have to see we have we see here the the sarcophagus ship, um, looking really nice in that image there. And then we have a profile of the ship. So you have its top view. You have its back view and the front. 
The Klingon Empire against the Federation against in the sarcophagus ship has a beacon in summoning the houses of the Council. Uh, it encountered the USS Shenzo at the edge of the Federation space, the cloaking and firing on the starship, starting a massive battle between the two fleets. The Klingons on the, uh, the, 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 the sarcophagus ship drifted for six months, its resources dewilding until the arrival of Kol, uh, of the House of Kor. Uh, Kol sought the sarcophagus cloaking technology to give the Klingons an edge against the Federation and secured the crew's loyalty with food. Um, the sarcophagus ship travelled to the planet Pavo after the, Pav the, Pav the, Pav the Pavians transmitted an invitation uh, in the hope that they could bring harmony to the Federation and Klingons. Cole was intent on using his power flag, powerful flagship to destroy the peaceful world and its unique planetary transmitter, but the USS Discovery engaged the sarcophagus strip in battle above Paho. Uh, with Discovery officers transporting aboard the Klingon vessel, the Federation ship was able to use its spore drive technology to penetrate the sarcophagus cloak. The Klingons, this, uh, the, the sarcophagus ship was destroyed, but at a cost. Uh, with the Discovery jumping 33 times, the Discovery jumped into the Mirror Universe. So we have designing the Ship of the Dead. The Kuvma's flagship was de designed to show the Klingons were an ancient, spiritual and awe-inspiring race. So I wonder if this is... Uh, I wonder if this was the... So the designer was called Sam Mitchlap. The man who designed this starship. So we have the ship here. So we have Sean's intake of his impersonation of the, the Ship of the Dead. Exterior with updated bridge design. Cool. So we have some... Ah, I never noticed this. Boys and girls, do you see what I see here? I believe that is a Miranda class starship. That is like the Reliant. Yes, it is actually the Reliant. So after he de uh, developed the basic silhouettes, Mitchap started to work up a series of quick sketches. Uh, to give an idea of what they might look like as uh, three-dimensional ships. So we also have some more designs on which Mitch Lapp uh, thought, uh, thought his vision of the sarcophagus ship, so down here. We have one here, and we have the here. And we also have some images here as well, so I'll let you guys see them. And you see what you guys think for yourself. There you go. And then we have, after the exterior was approved, Mitchap spent a lot of time working on interiors. The drawing was produced to show how the bridge set would be would fit into the head section. Other drawings showed how the surface was covered with sarcogi. And then we have also, in the collection, we have other starships as well coming as well. Cool, so that's my review of the magazine of the Klingon sarcophagus ship, which we have up here. Let's get into the model itself, guys, shall we? And I'll show you the ship. And here it is. The Klingon sarcophagus starship. Look at that. That looks amazing. The crystal, the crystal showing up really, really nice as well in the light. You can see all, all crystallized, and it's the same for the, uh, the, this thing here, like the, the, the bizarts. It's got the crystal, crystal on the inside of the, uh, on the outside here, and also down here you've also got like the orange as well for here, and here, for the bizarts, which is there. Which is really really nice. 
And then at the back of the ship, you've got the, the back kit. So you have like the intakes up here. It's really, really nice. If you're a fan, if you if, if you're a fan of it, get it. I say buy it. It will look really, really nice in your collection. So that's look at that. I mean, look, you can actually see the crystals lighting up. That's really, really cool. And it's also got on as well in the front of the the neck as well, where the bridge is, which is out here. So guys, yeah, that's my that's my review of the Klingon sarcophagus starship. Oh, to me on its stand, what you want to do is I'll show you the stand. So here's the stand. So mine's is uh, let's get this to see if it there you go. The Klingon sarcophagus ship two two eight a eight eight a dash a. Klingon sarcophagus ship, and what you want to do, guys and boys and girls, is if to mount on, on mount it. Is you want to get it into this section here, oh, come on. Just wait a minute, guys. I just need to figure out how to do it again because I had it on its stand. Right, so you want to get so it's in between there and there. Oh, come on, hell. There you go. So it's like that. And that's it on its stand. So that's the that's the Klingon sarcophagus ship on its stand. And that's all done and dusty, as you can see. So boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for taking time for looking at my view of the Klingon sarcophagus ship. If you please like what I've done to this evening, please like the thumbs up for the channel. And please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, where you'll see some more stuff from myself, the Scottish Tricky. And please hit the notification bell up here, where you'll see some more from my videos from me. And I will bring you, in the next video, the ISS Shenzo and the USS Edison. Uh, I'm still working, I'm, wait, I'm still waiting on the uh, Eagle Moss from getting back to me for about the, the Worker Bee, which is still out of stock. Um, so hopefully I should get that very very soon because um, I've also been hearing as well a lot of people are still waiting for the issue 12 the Enterprise uh, so hopefully you guys get theirs very soon and I will see you guys in the ISS Shenzo uh, review and I will see you guys later on and then as Mr Spock would say live long and prosper and I will see you guys later. Thank you much for taking time for watching the Scottish, Scottish Tricky. And I will see you in that video. Bye, guys. See you later.